we can use Contact's authentic expression technology to create a unique morphing synth texture from two individual samples. Let's get to it. Open your door, set the BPM to 174, and import dmbbeat.wav from the Tutorial Files folder onto the Arrange page before looping for playback. After this, add a new software instrument track with a fresh instance of contact before importing dmbpad.mid onto the track to trigger our sampler. Now we'll create a new instrument in contact. Open contact, pull down the files menu and select new instrument. Next, click the spanner button to edit the instrument and open the mapping editor before dragging dmbpad1.wav onto the piano roll. Set the root key to C3 and the range to C1 to C5 before repeating the process with dmbpad2.wav. It's vital that they both have the same range and root key to avoid any key clashes later on. Hit the List View button, top left of the Mapping Editor, to show each sample individually before selecting both samples, opening the Edit menu and choosing Move Each Zone to Group, Clone. This will assign each sample to its own group for further editing. Next, turn off Edit All Groups, the button's top centre of the instrument, before opening the browser's monitor page and naming our groups Pad1 and Pad2 respectively. Select DMB Pad 1 in the Mapping Editor before choosing Create AET Morph Layer from the Edit menu and naming the layer Pad 1. Extend the Analysis range to cover the whole sample and click OK before repeating the process with DMB Pad 2. This will make the AET filter we use later respond to the frequency content of the whole sample. Now, open the Edit menu and choose Open AET Morph Map Editor before adding a new morph map named Pad. Click on the left arrow button to add Pad 1 to the morph map, then repeat this step for Pad 2. The samples will morph in the order in which they are placed on the list. As we're morphing two separate sounds together, select the Articulation Morph checkbox and click OK. Open the Group Editor and select the Pad 2 group before turning the amplifier volume down to nothing. This will prevent the sample being accidentally triggered. Now we can get morphing. Add an AET filter to the Pad 1 group insert effects. Then select the morph map we've made from the AET filters drop down menu. Now, push up the morph control to around 60% and the amount to around 80% until you can hear the two samples morphing into one texture. Finally, we can add more interest to our sound by clicking the Mod button and adding a sine wave LFO to modulate the morph control. And finally, here's an instrument we made earlier. We've used vocal and foley samples to affect the FFT filter placed on the drum break with some modulation on our morph and amount controls. Download over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples. 
and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android, and in print.